YouTubers, it's Ems and I'm going to show you a tutorial on how I put in my sleep in rollers. So you may have noticed that my hair is actually different. I'm back using the ombre again, but variety is the spice of life, so let's kick on with this. First things first, I'm going to brush my hair and I'm going to use my large paddle GHD brush to get all the tangles out and to make sure my hair is as smooth as possible before we start. So I used my Denman teasing comb and I section off the front of my hair just it will be the bit that people see first so that's where I always like to start. put in any rollers I like to back home or tease the hair beforehand that way it gives the roller something to hold on to even though it is velcro and it does grip the hair you want something that's going to cause the grip even tighter so the rollers don't slide out of your hair before this part I use my fringe roller it is hard it's actually not um, squishy velcro like the rest and it is just for the front section so the first rollers that I put in are my ultimate lift um, root rollers, that's quite a mouthful to say. And I always put the rollers in around my face first. Um, I don't know why, that's just how I do it. Sometimes you can go back down across the crown, but I like to put it in before my face. And we always remember to tease the base of the hair before you put the roller in. <laughs> stay in my hair I use little curl clamps and um, usually if I'm sleeping in overnight I use bobby pins but in this case I use the little curl clamps and they make sure that they stay in my hair <music> in around the front section of my face I'm just going to speed the video up so you can see me put the rollers in for the rest of my head Thank you. 
always a quick twirl in the chair to let you see how far I've gone up. my hair making sure that I shield my eyes from any hairspray as you can see the fumes I'm choking probably putting in another hole in the ozone layer but I need to make sure all those bad boys are covered so now we just play the waiting game all the rollers are in I am sprayed and in this case I waited about six or seven hours Ta-da! I'm done I have got dressed, I've done my makeup, and I am almost ready to go out the door. I just gotta take the rollers out. So first off, I'm gonna start from the bottom, and then I'm gonna work my way up. And um, as you can see, I'm trying to find those little um, curl clumps. Sometimes it can be difficult, but you gotta persevere. And I'm gonna speed up taking the rollers out. And as you can see, I am loving life. I have been listening to the new Katy Perry song, Birthday on Repeat, and I am absolutely loving it. So what I do <laughs> is I take a wide bent comb and I like to give my hair a little brush and make sure that it is all together rather than separated where the rollers had part of the hair. I love this got to be styling um, free spray. It is great for putting on your hair and whenever you want to hold a particular style in place. I think it gives your hair a different texture other than hairspray. Um, I think it can be a bit heavy on the hair if you spray it directly. So I like to put it on the brush and then comb it through and then just basically work it and texturize it with my fingers. So that's me, that is my hair ready. I am ready for a night out with the girls. Thank you guys so much for watching and there will be a video on this makeup up very shortly. Thanks, bye.